Paula. I live here with Frank, my boyfriend, my two daughters, Veronica and Victoria, my mom, and our dog, Rocky. Life before Rocky was a lot easier. He spins and spins and spins. When that behavior comes out, he's very uncontrollable. Seeing him spinning around with his, the nails ripping into the floor and the walls, it's, it's extremely frustrating and it, it's costly. And he's caused a lot of tension and a lot of fighting. It's your responsibility. And a lot of damage. Frank has warned the girls several times, I'm getting rid of the dog. He, he still to goes to the bathroom twice. in the house. When he does that, that's when I call someone and have him taken away. I'm telling you, it's either me or the dog. <laughs> The Wheaton Terrier is causing a family meltdown, so they've called on Victoria Stillwell for help. All right, Rock, calm down, calm down. Hello. Hello, Hi. Victoria. Hello, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Hi. I'm Paula. Rocky's behind a gate. Oh, Rocky. Yeah. Hello, darling. Wow, he's rather splendid, isn't he? He's beautiful. What's this spinning? This is what he does. This is why we have to have the gate up, because he spins and spins, and he's putting holes in all the walls in the house. My first impression of Rocky, stressed out, anxious dog. He was spinning constantly and literally jumping off the walls. So you keep him down there? No, I leave him loose when it's just us at home. OK. But when anyone comes into the house, he spins and spins, and he doesn't stop, and he pounces on the walls. And then when it's time for them to leave, that's when it really gets bad. En route to a training facility, Paula wants to show Victoria why walking Rocky is so difficult for her. He's going to go straight out. to the car. Oh, right. This is what he does. Oh, my gosh. And we just stay here, and I try to pull him away, and he just wants to stay and go into the car. The reason why he's pulling Paula to the car is because when Paula puts a leash on him, that's all he knows is going to happen, because she never walks him. If she walks him sometimes, she's not going to have the big problem of him pulling desperately to get into the car. So he goes underneath and bang his head, and he's going to scratch it all up to get in. So it's for me, this is what I do the whole time okay. I'm trying to walk him. OK, all right. I think we'll train this at a different time of him not pulling you to the car. All right? I want to take Rocky to a large room, to a place where he hasn't been before, to see if it really is the space and frustration that he's feeling that is causing him to spin. This place is new. I want him to just go around and investigate. The anxiety, the fear. It's really awful to see a dog going through such turmoil. He's always on the defensive. So I think we need to concentrate the training on taking pressure off him and getting him to be more focused on you in a positive way. So what I'd like to do is get you to click a train and work with him. I really have got to find something that gives Rocky relief, that builds up the bond and relationship, but also takes him away from this awful anxiety that he's feeling. I want you to click and then give him a treat. Come on, I'll treat Rock. The actual sound of the click, right. it's a precursor to something good happened to him. He doesn't like those. And the fact is, if he doesn't eat, that means he's too stressed. He's stressed. Rocky's anxiety is way off the charts. He's whimpering, he's confused, he's hypervigilant. I wanted him to try and relax, and I introduced some toys to see if that would de-stress him. Stop playing with the toy and see what Come here, Rock. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Rocky. Good boy. Go get it. Though initially interested, Rocky quickly turns away. So Victoria introduces another toy. Come on, Rocky. Come on, my boy. Come on. Go get it. Now through. Go get it, Rock. Go get it. Go ahead. Go get it. And I have it's to be so very. Sad. I, it is sad. It, it is. is sad. Rocky was shut down. It was all too much pressure for him, too stressful, and he went under the seats to try and hide, to try and get away. OK. Nice, good. The clicker didn't work, so now I have to come up with something that is going to get Rocky out of himself and relax him. Studies have been done with children with attention deficit disorder that actually they learn better 
when they're moving. I feel exactly the same with Rocky. Call him and walk away from Come him. Come on, Rocky. Come and here. walk away from him. Don't back away. Walk away walk and away. call him. Come on, Rock. Good. See, he follows on, you then. When he comes up to you, tell him, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Nice. Yeah. Good. good Lovely. Good boy. And now he's enjoying being touched like that. A great place to touch him is on his chest. Yeah. Stroke him slowly in round motions on his chest. Slow. Sl that's it. Beautiful. The way you even touch a dog like Rocky is really important. Because if you want him to calm down, slow movements are going to do right. it. You just gave him a reward for coming to you. And your reward is being close to you, right. being held by you, and being petted. And I want him to know that he can come up to you and just go, ha. Ah. Because this dog, I'd say he's one of the most anxious dogs that I've ever met. Now, dogs, certain triggers set certain things off. The very fact that you're putting the leash on him means car to him, no longer. But instead of going out the front door, we're out the back door. OK. If Paula doesn't struggle with Rocky, then she'll want to take him out more. Don't let him pull you anymore. OK, so this is what we're going to do. If he pulls you, let's go, Rocky. You're going to go off in the other direction, all right? If he pulls you there, you're just going to go off in the other direction. You're going to keep changing direction because what's happening is pulling is being reinforced by you. Because mm -hmm. when he pulls, you allow him to get to where he wants right. to get to. You know, it takes a little bit yeah. of work on your part, mm -hmm. but if you keep sticking to it, you're going to have a dog that's going to walk well on the leash, OK? Let's just practice just the regular walking with right. Come on, Raph. He pulls. Yep. That's it. Go off and lovely. Good. Nice. Tell him good, good boy, boy. Right. Nice, Paula. Now, is there any car? Yes. Come on, Rack. All right. My muscles. <laughs> Just walk Racky. off. Oh, my goodness. Here. Uh, That's you... it. I've never seen a dog try to get in a car as desperately as Rocky does. We're getting to the point now where there's a lot of cars along here, so it's going to be tough. Just do everything you've been doing. <laughs> when you get past the car, I want you to take charge and walk really oh, fast yes. past it. All right. Get him into the zone. OK, okay go. Here we go. Go. <laughs> Going past Let's the car. Go. go, go, go. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, Paula. <laughs> I love it. Good boy. <laughs> We've got... Wait a second. Let's just stop and take stock of what it's just happened there. <laughs> Brilliant. It's a miracle. <laughs> he really was amazing. You did just beautifully. Paul is going to have no excuse now not to walk him. Come on, Rock. Good boy, Rock. Hey. Wow. Hi. So we got agility training, I guess. Yes. <laughs> and when we first walked into the agility room, my first reaction was, uh-oh, bad idea. <laughs> Rocky is not going to focus enough on any of these things. It's going to be a long day. I want to introduce okay. you to Jane Kopelman, who is a wonderful trainer, but Jane also does a lot of work with agility dogs. Could you tell us a little bit about agility and why agility is so good, especially for a dog that has a lot of energy like this? Sure. Um, agility basically is teaching a dog to jump over obstacles, go through tunnels. You can do it indoors, you can do it outdoors. It not only is physical exercise for the dog, but it's a confidence builder. I know that it's in an indoor area, he might not be able to cope with it. So I just want to test it to see if he can relax enough just to follow you over a few jumps. Even if that happens, that's good for him. Right. Rocky needs to move. He's happiest when he's moving. So I thought agility might be a great sport for the family to do with him. So I think, Frank, if you could be the person that we could work with, because I noticed that when we were in the outdoor area, he loved running with you. Sure. Great. What ultimately we'd like to see him do is take three jumps and go to the box. And so, Frank, what I'd like you to do is just to encourage him up Rocky, on that box. Come here. Rocky, come on. Rocky. That's, That's a good boy. boy. Yeah. Hi. Oh, let's give him the praise as well, because he really good loves boy. that praise. Yeah, good yeah. Boy. yeah. lots yeah, good of praise. Boy. I was surprised when Rocky sat with Frank. I thought it was something that he could not do on his own, but he did it. So good now boy. I'm going to take Rocky back one jump, and you're going to say exactly where you are, and you're going to encourage him to the box. Rocky, Rocky, come on. 
Come on. Good. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. yeah. Good boy. Jane, I have to say, even this Jane is huge for him. I think he's doing really well. Brilliant. To see Rocky run to the platform and actually sit on it is a miracle. For once, nothing else got his attention. OK, Rock, let's try two. Rocky, come on. Come on. Come on, Rock. Come on. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> When I see Rocky jumping over those hurdles, I said, wow, it goes to show that a little positive reinforcement goes a long way. And I would certainly would look forward to doing agility with Rocky. I'm so happy for you. We want to end on a positive note with Rocky. So we want to end before he gets tired and when he's done something really great. So thanks, Jane. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. I walk Rocky every day. Victoria showed me what to do, and from that day on, he was doing great with me. Good boy. Let's go. Paula and Rocky together on walks. It's wonderful to see this kind of progress. Let's go. Good boy, Rock. Yeah. Now he's displaying far less anxiety than before. Training him. It's getting better. Good boy, Rock. Good boy. Wow. The hardest behavior to correct with Rocky is uh, the spinning thing he does, but uh, it's getting better. 